President Trump is absolutely right. The deep state's abuse of power, it is very real. And under Joe Biden, it is now going unchecked. And now we find out the FBI has acquired the single most sophisticated spying tools ever designed by man. Now we're going to break this down for you. Uh, not one, but two alarming new spying scandals. It'll make you think twice about how you use your very own cell phone. And later, a supposedly non Partisan Biden nominee accused Senator Ron Johnson of white supremacy, called him a white nationalist sympathizer from behind the comfort of her keyboard on Twitter. Well, today the senator confronted her face to face. How would you feel somebody just privately called you racist? First of all, I would say they're wrong. Second of all, I would uh, disagree with them. And I, as I said earlier, but I want to reiterate that even in my critiques of people, um, I'm very careful um, never to ascribe to the person. Well, I thought, you know, I, I heard that. I thought that was interesting. You say you never criticize the person. Um, but that's not true. What you just, what you, what you just testified there is false. I'll use a different word. We call it a lie where I grew up. We'll play the full exchange coming up, and Senator Ron Johnson will be here with reaction. But first, we now turn our attention to a chilling story surrounding an Israeli technology firm. Now, this firm is named NSO Group, and its powerful spyware tool called Pegasus. Now, according to reports, Pegasus might be the single most powerful and controversial spyware ever developed. Now, once it has access to your phone, Pegasus can allegedly copy your messages and your photos, track your location, record your conversations through the microphone, even when you're not using your phone, and get this, it can even film you secretly through your own phone's camera. That's how sophisticated this is. The New York Times recently detailed the intensifying scrutiny over the technology after evidence that, quote, authoritarian governments are using NSO products to spy on political opponents. But according to ABC, uh, this technology is frequently used abroad to hack journalists and dissidents and human rights activists. And here's what's happening in Israel right now. The Israeli government is now investigating, this is a huge controversy in Israel, claims that the spyware was being used by the police against specific Israeli citizens, uh, specifically key witnesses in the corruption trial of former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, look at your screen. Some are even claiming that multiple witnesses were actually, because of the spying, are being blackmailed into testifying against former Prime Minister Netanyahu because of data harvested from their phones using this spyware. Oh, see all this information we have? Say what we want in court, and guess what? It'll never see the light of day. That is a massive scandal unfolding in Israel, and here's my prediction. Buckle up. It's not a matter of if, but it's a matter of when spying scandals just like this will emerge in this country. Now, here's where the story hits close to home. Even though the NSO group has been blacklisted by the U.S. Commerce Department, uh, can you guess who might have purchased a license to use this in 2019? Yep, Chris Ray's FBI. In a statement, the Bureau claims that it paid $5 million for a limited license from the NSO group for product testing and evaluation only. Then the FBI reportedly renewed the contract for another $4 million. Cybersecurity experts are now sounding the alarm about what they are calling a troubling and irresponsible move from the highest levels of the federal government, the same FBI leadership that never held their own top brass to this day accountable for the biggest corruption abuse of power scandal ever when they used that dirty Russian disinformation dossier that Hillary Clinton bought and paid for to spy on Donald Trump, the candidate, the transition team of Donald Trump and President Donald Trump. Uh, now the only difference is they won't need to lie to the FISA court to spy. This is extremely chilling, especially because Director Ray never held these people accountable, never cleaned up his bureau of the 1%. I have my FBI pin still up right there, representing the 99% of good people that will risk their lives and obey the laws and not abuse power. 
And meanwhile, another spying scandal is brewing on Capitol Hill. Look at this. Breaking today, the inspector general for the Capitol Police opened a formal investigation into serious claims that Republican members of Congress are being unlawfully and were unlawfully survey, uh, surveilled by Capitol Police, potentially at the direction of Nancy Pelosi. Look at this from Politico, hardly a right-wing publication. Quote, the Capitol's intelligence unit quietly started scrutinizing the backgrounds of people who met with lawmakers. Even Republican staffers were allegedly targeted with surveillance. And that's not all. According to one GOP congressman from Texas, during recess in November 2021, three Capitol police officers entered his congressional office without his knowledge, dressed like construction workers, and began taking pictures of a whiteboard before being confronted by a staffer who was still in the office. The police then interrogated the staffer about the contents on the whiteboard, which detailed various legislative plans that are under consideration. Today on Twitter, the congressman stated that perhaps his office was targeted because, quote, well, I've been a vocal critic of Speaker Pelosi, the January 6th committee, and the Capitol Police leadership over their handling of January 6th and the death of Ashley Babbitt and the subsequent sham investigation. So what's really going on here? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.